hello keepers welcome back to my channel you guys this is my first full get ready with me video and i just pray that you guys enjoy this video this is my first one so i'm super super excited for those that are new here i'm keeping up with nat also known as natalyn and for all my returning keepers thank you so much for stopping by again based on the title of today's video you got that right i'm gonna give you guys a full get ready with me hair makeup outfit accessories everything so keep on watching if you want to see how i achieve this look Alright keepers, so without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Um, so this is how I look bare faced early in the morning. Um, I have everything set up here. I have my curling iron, my pin curls, I mean my pin curls, my pin clips because um, I am going to be pin curling it while I get ready so that the curls can hold a little bit and I've already gone ahead and um, applied my heat protector serum on my hair so we can get right into the video so these are the type of um, pin clips that I'm using if, if there you go yeah so these are the type of pink clips that I'm using. I have two different sizes. I have a big one and a small one, but for the length of my hair, the smaller size pink clips will do just fine. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl my micro links because I've noticed a lot of people ask me, how do I get my curls to look like that? And you know, this, this, and that, and the fourth. And a lot of people don't know how to use like the curling iron with the, the flat. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys. I'm not the greatest when it comes to applying it, but I'm going to teach you guys. So now what I'm going to do is split my hair into two. Okay, and just work on one side. So I'm going to work on one side. just like to tie one side and get it out of the way and focus on one side first. So I washed my hair over the weekend, so the curls should last and curl much more better because I washed off all the product that I've been using. Be careful. Okay, so the curling iron that I'm using is Conair and this is the one inch. I will leave the link below. I purchased it for, off of Amazon. I have two of these. I have the 1.5 and then I just recently bought the, the one inch just because I want more voluptuous curls. The smaller the curling iron is, the more volume of curls you're gonna get. So you're gonna, once again, the flat part is gonna face, it's gonna direct point this way. I, I don't know how to explain that, but you wanna put the hair in, okay? So when you put the hair in, you roll. As you roll, as you roll, you keep rolling up so you would let a little go but you keep rolling back like literally let the hair glide through the curling iron okay i like to hold it for a little bit just so the curls can really catch that heat but you just literally flip this a little bit you let it loose while you let it loose you're rolling so you're not letting the hair completely loose out of the curling iron but you're just letting it go a little bit so that the ends can also catch and then you just keep curling. You just keep going, literally just keep going like that. And hold it. I hold it for about 10, 15 seconds. Not even that long, honestly. Maybe a few seconds. And you curl it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
throughout the video i'm gonna fast forward because like i'm just gonna be doing the same thing so i'm not gonna keep talking throughout but the first couple of curls i'm gonna show you what i do so you guys can get the point so now i'm gonna let it loose and bring it down and just like that baby you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying just like that so right away you want to grab it this is how i pin curl it okay you want to grab it and roll it oh you literally want to grab it you guys and roll it take your pin curls pin <laughs> baby just like that i'm gonna do a couple I'm gonna do a few more just so you guys can see get the hang of it it's honestly it's not it's not I understand how hard it is but it's once you get the hang of things it's not that hard it's really not that hard I did struggle with this still I struggled with this but practice makes perfect and that's why I'm here for you guys so once again make sure this flap is is not facing towards you so it's it's facing the opposite direction of you okay you put it in and because we want the curls to go away from my face we're gonna curl away from my face you get it you get it so you you curl it away but you're bringing it back up okay you curl it away but you're bringing it back up you let loose a little bit but you're bringing it back up you, you get me you get me you curl it away but you're bringing it back up you're bringing it back up literally baby <laughs> this is gonna get you some voluptuous salon looking curls i'm gonna get you to look like how you look like if you left your hairstylist's house let's get it because in 2022 ladies we need to at least know how to do something by ourselves like we can't literally depend on our hairstylists all the time all the time especially if you already got an install like you're gonna have to maintain your hair until your next appointment so keeping up with that got you. I got you. Just keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking. But can you guys see what I'm doing? I don't wanna get too close because like my blemishes. <laughs> but literally, I hold it for a few seconds. Now I'm gonna let go. Talk to me. Talk to me very nicely because by the time I'm done this, <laughs> baddie alert. <laughs> Betty, Betty, Betty. Ooh. Okay. The flap is away from your face. Put it in. And flip. 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 And you keep rolling. Let this loose a little bit, but you keep rolling. Whenever you let it loose, you roll back up. Whenever you let it loose, you roll back up. Whenever you let it loose, roll back up. You see what I'm saying? Just roll it. Roll, roll it, yeah. Roll it, yeah. You know, just roll it. You let loose, but you roll back up. Like, you think you're done, but you're not done. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm almost done. Almost done. yes yes that's what i'm talking about when the hair is just cooperating bro you know this slay is about to be mm. when the hair works out i guarantee you your makeup is going to come out the fleekiest you've ever done like when everything just works out for my good it's my hair once again the flat part it's not fa it's not like facing towards you it's facing away from you and you want to put that in and curl and twist good curl and twist and curl and twist I hope you guys are getting it like I, I'm I really hope I'm explaining it to the best of my abilities I know how hard it is but just keep re-watching this video you'll get the hang of it trust me trust me and if you guys want me to post more videos like this let me know 
I will be glad to. Okay. And voila. Voila, y'all. You guys don't even, I don't even have to leave it in for that long. Yeah, this curling iron, you guys. You guys, hurry it up. Go ahead and order this because it literally makes the job so much easier. So this side, you guys, I'm going to fast forward when I get to this side. But I just wanted to show you guys how I do this. What I was doing. Okay, you guys. And just like that, I just literally curled this whole part of my hair. Something is falling here. I can feel it. You can see. Can you see? So I'm going to quickly do this side. Now that you guys seen an in-depth tutorial of how I pin curl my micro links i'm gonna quickly do this side i want to finish at least by um, 8 30 it's 8 right now so yeah i'm at time crunch where i need to go to um i'm going to a traditional engagement today so that's why i'm doing full get ready with me um it starts at 11 so i want to be done everything by like 9 9 30 latest so i can take my videos and tiktoks and all that stuff so i'm gonna quickly do this side and i'll be right back with you when i started the makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and double prime i like double priming now so i'm gonna go in with my becca which is almost done i'm so sad um uh, my becca ever matte poreless perfecting primer and then i'm gonna go in oh, that was the spray setting spray my milk um hydro hydro grip primer so we're gonna go in, actually, let me use my Becca first. We're gonna go in with this. It's almost done, you guys, and honestly, in all honesty, there's no other primer that's better than this. Like, this is why I'm double priming. Cause I don't have that much left, so I don't wanna use that much. So, i prime. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And honestly, I really just focus in my T-zone area because that's where I get oily the most. Alrighty. So we're going to go into eyes and literally conceal my brows. So I'm using my Born This Way Chestnut Concealer and I'm going to go right in just like that. Literally just like that. Take my flat brush. I like using a flat brush. Before I wasn't using a flat brush. I was using like an angle brush. So I like using a flat brush like this. I don't know where this is from. So honestly, just find any flat brush, you guys. And now I'm going to carve out my brows. And I like to bring it down because I am going to do basic eyeshadow. So you want to bring it down to your eyelids and just use it as a um, eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to take my Morphe 173 brush and just buff it out you guys i wash my brushes over during the week Ooh, bristles are so much softer the makeup just glides so much smoother when you have clean brushes Okay, so I'm done carving out my brows. Now, I won't do the top part of my brows until I start using my foundation to carve out that, just to 
um, give it more of an oomph and emphasize it. So I'm going to start on eyeshadow now. I like to do my eyes before I do my face because I find that now, especially with applying my lashes, I struggle and my eyes always water. So then it just ruins my under eye. And baby, we do not have time for any hiccups today. No, sorry. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. This is my e.l.f. Um, fluffy eye blender brush and I'm gonna go in with my morphe Jaclyn Hill ring the alarm palette and use the shade mugshot right here the shade right here for um, my transition say transit whoo my transition say shade I can't talk sorry guys so I'm gonna go in in the crease right here and I blend that out you just want to lightly with your transition shade you don't want a um, heavy hand so just lightly apply that in the eyes here So I'm not putting it right in my crease, but right above my crease, closer towards my brows, because this is your transition shade. Okay, and then we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in with that same palette and use Siren, this color right here. It's like a brownish purplish base and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my outer crease right here just in the outer corners of my eyes and stop like right in the middle here I'm not gonna bring it up I'm literally just gonna stop right there just to give it some definition definition And this brush is another e.l.f. blending eye brush. I really like e.l.f. brushes. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. E.l.f. and Morphe brushes are doing it for me. A lot of the times, you guys, I wing my eyeshadows. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally always winging it. And then, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place um Vanessa palette and I'm going to take a, another blending brush and go in with BSG which is brown skin girl and now go in in my inner corner here Serious full get ready with me. Don't play with me. Then, right, I'm going to use that same concealer brush that I used for my brows and take my concealer. We are going to cut crease this baby. If I'm going basic, let's do some cut crease. We are going to cut crease this baby. I do like warming the product up on my hand before i go ahead and cut crease and we are going to cut crease these eyelids so just like this so what i like to do is put it on my eyelids like this open my eyes that's the trick open my eyes and you see where the line is that's where i'm going to finish off the cut crease
now we are going to get a flatter brush, right? A flat brush. I'm gonna use like a brush like this. And go back in with the Juvia's Place with Vanessa eyeshadow palette and use Busy, my favorite color. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. But okay, okay, forget about me. This color right here. It's my favorite base color and apply it in the area that I just cut creased. We're going to go back in now with this shade Siren and redefine the, the corner eyeshadow thing that we did. Y'all see where I'm going with this? Okay, so I'm done with my eyeshadow. I'm going to um, apply my eyeliner and lashes and I'll be back with you okay you guys I'm done with my eyes I applied my eyeliner and my eyelashes I won't do my bottom eyeliner until I complete my whole face so now we are getting into the nitty-gritty so I'm going to go in and highlight first so this is one thing I've been saying that I changed the way I do makeup a little bit now so I'm gonna go in with the same born this way concealer in the shade chestnut where you normally would conceal okay so i'm going to do that and conceal here go in with this beauty blender you guys i love this beauty blender it's like so soft it's even softer than the one from sephora um my friend gave me one to try and i loved it i ordered it it's from amazon i will link it down below as well and now i'm just going to blend blend everywhere i've just concealed I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm using my Morphe foundation. I really, really love it. I'm using Filter Deep 33. And this is a matte foundation, you guys, full coverage. Well, medium to full coverage, but I really love it. So what I like to do is just put a couple of pumps on my brush and then I will go ahead and spray the brush. Cause you guys, the key is, is you wanna use the spray while you go. Use the spray. Um, with the products it will last so much longer and now we want to put it the foundation in the areas we didn't conceal literally right around it so we're gonna go ahead and tap that in tap 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 and the brush that I'm using is my NYX the brush is called 37 <laughs> come on NYX do better no creativities in the names so you want to put the foundation everywhere that you did it just conceal so put it around where you applied your concealer and i love doing it this way because i use less products i use less products and i get more coverage it's weird oh my hair it's weird but i absolutely love it 
I absolutely love it. You guys always want to bring it down. Bring it down to about behind your ear and dry the product down. Okay, so now that I've just used my foundation, now, I mean, I just finished up with the foundation. I'm going to go in now with my lighter shade concealer, Mocha, and now reconceal and put it on the areas I just concealed. Now, this is a lighter shade because I do like the brighter under eye. So now I'm just going to go in. While I let that sit, I'm going to go in now with my contour and I have both espresso and caviar. Because caviar is so dark, okay, I only just use it for my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with my espresso shade first. I'm just about finishing and do my forehead. Okay, and I literally just take the product and I put it on the brush. Okay, and I'm just going to contour here. So now that I just finished contouring my face, sometimes if I feel like I still want my um, blush to set, I will go in, I mean, if I still want my concealer to set, I will go in with my um, liquid blush, if I can find it. Where is it in here? My Morphe liquid blush, and I'm going to use the shade Subscribes. And if you haven't subscribed, go on ahead, okay? I'm going to use my shade subscribe. And I'm just going to put it right above where I just contoured. Literally right above. And use blush. And you guys, if you guys are not using liquid blush, I don't know what you're waiting for. Because it's, it's, it's literally a game changer. Literally. It's a game changer. You guys, go ahead and use it. And I'm going to smile a little bit, place it on my cheek, and bring it up. Smile a little bit, place it on my cheek, and bring it up. And it's just going to bring the whole look together. I might go back in after I um, blend out my concealer because it may just go away. So now I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <coughs> to blend out my concealer and before that i like to use my milk setting spray for this and just spray my brush okay and i'm going to blend out my chin first my um, upper lip and my forehead okay, so what i use to blend out is my morphe 4 m 448 brush um and go let's go baby Let's go, baby. It's been sitting for long. I don't want it. Here we go. And I'm going to go in with my buffer, buffer brush in for my nose, and that's my M173 brush and buff out my nose. From the six side, I don't think going shower, boss, it gets to get by. Stay true, never switch sides. Yeah, the game turned me into this guy. Yeah. Okay, 
And then for my under eye, I'm actually gonna go in with the beauty blender and blend that out. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Baby. This beauty blender. I'm telling you guys. I'm going to leave the link below. Purchase it and tag me. If I tag me, if what I'm saying about this is true, like it's so soft. And I remember my last vlog, I asked you guys, what do you guys like using to blend out your under eyes? A beauty blender or a brush? And I'm saying, I love a brush. I still love how the brush looks, but it's because I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't using a nice soft beauty blender. This? Nah, this is a game changer, maybe. Baby, this this just changed the game. This just changed the game for me. This changed the game. I'm telling you guys, this this the one. This is the one. I'm you guys are probably wondering, hey, how about your when are you gonna cut your like right here? Once again, I don't like applying so much product, so I'm going to use what's left on the beauty blender and cut here. So you guys can see that contour. Can you guys see that literally and just blend that out? So now what I'm going to do is set my whole face and I'm going to use my Morphe um, Filter 11 face powder. You guys, it's almost done. Can you guys tell I love this face powder? I'm going to set my whole face and I do this to avoid flashback flashback this is the trick to get rid of any flash black backs i'm just going back in with my foundation brush just to blend out any harsh lines because we don't want to be looking crazy and it's during the day where i'm going so see now my forehead is so much blended and now i'm going to set my whole face now with my face powder and this is what i do to avoid flashback. Literally, I put it everywhere. I put it everywhere. I don't even care. Okay, so now I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent to set the areas that I just baked. I mean, I'm going to bake the areas that I just concealed. Okay, so now that I'm setting, I'm baking, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe bronzer in Trailblazer and bring back some color and definition to my face. So I'm going to literally put it around the areas like I basically contoured just to bring me back my natural browns and some colors because I'm trying to do this before my battery dies. Um, Cause yeah, it's dying. It's dying. It's dying on me. But can you guys see the browns that I just brought back into my face? Because 
Ooh, with all this baking and highlighting and contouring and all them things there, you you lose your color. You use you lose the melanin. So you want to bring it back and just put it back in the areas that we pretty much covered it up. So blend out my nose contour. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly blend that out. Because remember, I put cream in here. So I just want to blend that out and set that with powder. Because everywhere you've applied, ooh, everywhere that you've applied your your cream products, you always got to go back in and set it, you guys. Especially if you have oily skin. You always want to go back in and set it with a powder. Always. So it doesn't crease. Because if you don't, you're going to get a lot of creasing. A lot of creasing. We're almost done, you guys. We're literally almost done. V, we, we almost done. So, um, what I'm going to do now is just dust off everything that I've just baked with the same powder that I used to set my whole face after I um, highlighted and concealed, and I'll be back. So I dusted off um, everywhere except my under eye because what I wanted to show you guys is with my under eye, I don't like dusting it all off I do just dust off a little bit like the outer corners but I like to press in the rest I swear I'm so sorry my camera literally died so I had to just charge it a little bit and come back um, so what I did off camera was I went ahead and applied my blush and the blush that I use is actually not blush but you could use it for blush it's the Juvia place um, Vanessa's palette um, I think this shade is called stush this shade right here so I used this shade, it's called Stush. I went ahead and put that on my cheeks. I dusted off the um, areas that I was baking and I'm literally just going to do my under eyes and my lips at the end. When All I'm right, keepers. So I'm pretty much done with my makeup. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm cutting close to time now, so I wanna take out my pink curls and show you guys the results. I was gonna do it off camera, but I'm like, what? Now that I don't know, that's not a full get ready with me. So now I'm just literally releasing all the pins from my hair and seeing how these lovely curls came out. Oh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's gonna take a while. Look at these, look at these bad boys. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is how my curls came out right from the, I'm just going to brush them out a little bit. Okay, brush out the curls a little bit, but you guys, it's giving, it is giving. I like to just use my hands and finger curl it before I go in with a wide tooth comb. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry, forgive me with the background noise because I'm so hot so I just turned on my fan in my room but now, I'm gonna quickly style this and just comb it out a little bit just a little not too much and I'll be right back once I have my hair parted and all that stuff because yeah, I'm gonna give myself a side part but this is the finished product after I pin curled it I parted my hair 
straighter i added some edge control to slick the edges okay i had to recurl a strand here just so it could blend in and yeah i put some holding spray so i can get this hump to stay in place and just like that i'm done with my hair and basically my makeup all i have to do is um apply my lips and that's it so i'm going to quickly get dressed um i'll probably apply my lips on camera so you guys can see the products that i use and just like that we're done so just bear with me one moment i'll be right back hello keepers and just like that i'm done i know i said i was gonna do my lips on camera but i didn't end up doing it but what i use to line my lips is the morphe lip liner in trend center and then the nyx in abu no Ad adu abu dubai or something like that and then i went over with gloss um which is the morphe flower crown gloss and so my accessories that i have on now i have these earrings that i purchased off of aliexpress my guest watch i'm gonna throw on some rings all from aliexpress and then my dress is from shein my heels are from eagle official and i'm gonna give you a 360 if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe tell me guys how you guys like this beat and my hair this is my first full get ready with me video so i hope you guys enjoyed it toodaloo i love you keepers Mwah.